Today is June 5th, 2020. My name is Father Trav, and I would like to welcome you to today. Before we begin, I would like to remind you that we upload new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I would also like to remind you to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever new episodes are uploaded. With that out of the way, let's begin. Friends, uh, have you ever had the desire to pray for someone or something only to put it in a list of things to do later? I'm sure we all have at some point. And in today's devotional, I want us to focus on prayer as a secret weapon so many of us forget we have. Today, I want us to see prayer as the direct line between you and God. Today, I want us to focus on the truth that a family that combines prayer into their lifestyle is giving the ultimate gift to themselves. Today, I want us to focus on the reality that at times, life sucks. Even more, life is complicated and suffering is an inevitable part of life. But prayer can make it that much easier. In St. John's Gospel, chapter 4, verses 13 through 14, we learn that St. John states or coins Jesus saying, I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let me begin by saying that God is never silent. Let me repeat that again. God is never silent. However, let me also say that this statement for me holds two powerful understandings that we need to know concerning prayer before we disembark on this new day. The first point being the fact that God is always speaking through us and through the world around us. God is still working through you and God is still working through me. And we, at times, can be the answer to someone else's prayer. At times, we pray and we look for this miraculous Red Sea crossing miracle to drop down into our laps. And in the process, we miss the still, quiet voice of God, easing our pain through the simple things in life around us. And this brings me to the second point, that prayer causes movement in us and around us. Prayer causes movement in us and around us. I want you to think of prayer like wind. We may not see it. At times we may barely feel it, but we know the power that can come when, that can come from it, when there is enough of it. But we still take it for granted. We work in the garden under the scorching sun and we scream out, Lord, why is it so hot? Moments later, a crowd rolls over the skies and offers us some relief, if even for a moment. And all you can say is, thank you, God. This, my friends, is an example of so many small blessings we miss out on, simply because, as my grandmother would put it, we too big-eyed. We want so much. But in addition to all of this, we must remember that prayer is also about action towards those around us and interceding for them both in thought, word, and deed. In other words, rather than gossiping about your haters, pray for them. And I ain't talking about no obey prayers either. Pray that God may change their lives. Pray that God may take dominion in their lives. Nothing a hater hates more than someone that prays for them. And you can tell that and take that to the bank. C.S. Lewis, a great theologian, once stated, I pray because I can't help myself. I pray because the need flows out of me all the time, waking and sleeping. It doesn't change God, it changes me. And then Mother Teresa also states about prayer. 
I used to believe that prayer changes things, but now I know that prayer changes us and we change things. Friends, whether you're facing an impossible situation, stepping out into a new area, or trusting God for a miracle, prayer is arguably our most potent weapon as believers. Prayer is not only a privilege and a blessing, but through prayer our hearts are strengthened and encouraged. Through prayer the atmosphere of our homes and our hearts change. Through prayer, God aligns our hearts with His. And through prayer, God works in surprising and incredible ways. Friends, Prayer is humanity's most significant power. And now I want you to join me as we take today to God in prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we bow our hearts before you and we give you honor and praise. Strengthen our prayer life. Help us to pray more. Nudge us to pray when we're doing mindless tasks. Help us to honestly know who we are in Christ, to understand that you always hear us, to remember your word so that we can pray it, to write it down on our own prayer needs and the needs of others, and to know that you do know us. Today we ask you to be our guide through your most Holy Spirit. And we all say, Amen. My brothers and sisters, to be a Christian without prayer is no more possible than to be alive without breathing. So I challenge you today, make prayer your daily breath. And I challenge you to pray for someone today. Pray for someone you love, but even more, pray for someone you hate. Pray for all persons that you come into contact with today. With all of that said, I would like to thank you once again for tuning in. And as we always say here, make today your best day. Until we meet again, have a blessed weekend and see you on Monday.